Well, let's begin this morning with the two oldest presidential candidates in American history setting off this weekend on the eight-month road to Election Day. NBC's White House correspondent Aaron Gilchrist is in the battleground state of Georgia, where President Biden and former President Trump each held rallies on Saturday. Aaron, good morning. Willie, good morning to you. Those dueling rallies turned into a real slugfest with President Biden and former President Trump uh, taking the stage at about the same time, roughly 70 miles apart. Now, Biden firing up his base on stage last night, celebrating a handful of new endorsements and ticking off talking points about what he's done in office. Now, as the president continues his campaign blitz this week, visiting battleground states Michigan and Wisconsin, his team is launching a new $30 million ad buy geared toward communities of color and addressing one of the biggest concerns about him, his age. Look, I'm not a young guy. That's no secret. But here's the deal. I understand how to get things done for the American people. Look, I'm not a young guy. No now, the Trump campaign wasting no time responding with an ad of its own, showing a montage of President Biden's recent stumbles to drive home their point that he's too old. Now, Mr. Trump, only four years younger than Mr. Biden, spent much of his rally in Georgia hitting his usual talking points, including weaponization of government and attacking his 2024 rival now. It is a contentious campaign on both sides already, Willie, and we should note uh, Election Day is still 240 days away. Willie? Long road ahead. Aaron, President Biden also sat down on Saturday for an exclusive interview with our friend MSNBC's Jonathan Capehart, where the president talked about the war in Gaza and did have some strong new words for Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Yeah, Willie, the president, frankly, had a blunt assessment of how Netanyahu is handling this ongoing war, saying that he wants to have a serious conversation with the prime minister, a, a come to Jesus meeting, he called it in a hot mic moment uh, last week. Uh, he, he said that he, he, he reiterated, really, that while Israel does have a right to defend itself, uh, Netanyahu must be more aware of the consequences of his actions and the amount of death that we're seeing in Gaza. Listen. I, in my view, is hurting Israel more than helping Israel by making the rest of the world. It's contrary to what Israel stands for. And I think it's a big mistake. Now, the president also reiterated his desire for a six-week ceasefire and a release of hostages. The administration saying that significantly increasing humanitarian aid into Gaza is a must. And to that end, Willie, we understand that a ship left Virginia last night carrying some equipment to start building that pier off the Gaza coast. Willie? Aaron Gilchrist starting us off in Atlanta this morning. Aaron, thanks so much. We appreciate it. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.